Tava sawa. So to si chalewe. Hello, hello, hi guys, welcome back to the Escapades show. If you are new here, Karibu Tena Sala, that's how we say it here. Yeah. yeah, so guys, I'm taking this opportunity to thank all the new people who decided to join us. Asante Sana for choosing the Escapades show. Na ume karibisho, karibisho, karibisho. Please take a seat and always remember to have what you're always having. Here, here, here is where the adventure takes place place na na wapenda tena sana so with not taking much of your time guys i am outside and today i am going to i have some errands in tubingen you all know i think you know tubingen uh, tubingen is in land baden württemberg yeah it's in germany yeah so today i'm going there i have some few errands and i was thinking okay let me try and show Let's go window shopping in Tubingen and before that I will show you what my outfit looks like. Sawa sawa. So to si chalewe na hope you will love Tubingen. Today the weather in Germany had changed. We are hi guys, Saseni Akipoleni. Yesterday I wanted to show you a little of tubing in and how it is, but it rained. It rained. It was raining, and I could not. I I could not go anywhere. Yeah, so I skipped that. But I have some video. This uh, it was a trip I had earlier this year. I've, yeah <laughs> so it was in a museum you will know who that place was so nice so i think it's the right time to show you about uh, the lady the museum what she's all about yeah and i'll fix it with the introduction i had for yesterday's video you guys so yeah enjoy the art you will love this place and by the way that place once you are inside you don't know what is happening outside yeah so simjibambe enjoy the show and uh, much love to you guys and tuko pamoja hi guys this is frida Kahlo. frida was born in mexico and she was an artist and this here this portrays her house how how it was how she lived in mexico so this is the house outside right now you're getting in and that's when now she talks about her story from the beginning to the end yeah and guys uh, this there's a story that the lgbt frida was the one who started the movement yeah and uh, yeah, she was a nice artist and also she's the first woman who started, uh, uh, like was drawing portraits of herself. Like in real world now, if you look the way people do self selfies, it's back then that's what she was doing. Yeah, and guys, enjoy the story. It was nice. This was in Baden-Baden in Germany. And the museum is owned by an individual yeah it's not a government thing it's someone who owns it someone who is passionate about frida and i think they are collectors and decided to put up a museum yeah so i found about i found about it i read it on uh, I, I found it through google and i said okay why not go see since i love i love me some frida <laughs> why not go see my god this place i spent almost three hours going from the beginning to the end i made sure i went through all details so if in case you have any questions you can uh, put them on the comments and i will try much to answer and if you feel like you love her you resonate with her you can also try and find out about her 
Yeah, there are informations everywhere. Google, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, everywhere. There's information. So yeah, enjoy. Guys, the story is from when Frida was born, to her marriages, to her private affair, to everything that she, she thought. All this were her drawings, some her work, some her gifts, and everything that is in the house contains everything that she owned. And yeah, it's literally, you can say, a book in form of art. And guys, Frida really never had it easy. She, all her life, it has just been ups and downs. She was born autistic and she never really had it easy. She never saw herself as a beautiful woman. And uh, yeah, she just had a tough, rough time. And pay, painting, artistic, that was her way of coming out and finding herself and knowing who she is, yeah this was her most iconic work like it she says that is the old color and the new color like as in you know in america she was more americanized that she had to forget her mexican uh, rituals mexican religion so she kind of felt different and uh, that's mm -hmm. how why she had to draw this picture like like uh, there are two colors one one is bleeding at the end but that means the original mexican carlo transformed herself into the american carlo and in between a lot has happened a lot of crying a lot of dying a lot of sort of sort of things so she had to go back to her original self so guys the video is filled with all about her work all about herself i think i've already said that much enough and I will leave you to enjoy the show. Adios.
guys we are coming to the end of the video and this part was where she was dying this was her room and where she spent her last night so up to this part it was so teary yeah i was cleaning my tears and yeah at least i i loved and i enjoyed to read about frida her work her life her marriage her family yeah and she's a woman who proved even with hard time life has to be lived and your talent can help you in many ways that you never know so guys let me know what you think i'm finished and until next time adios